is gonna be so much fun and I have no makeup on and that's because today I have, drum roll please, a bag full of Trini London products. This is a very big bag. I've gone maybe a little bit overboard but I thought I would treat myself for Christmas and get my hands on some really really lovely products. And I'm so excited to share all of these with you, to swatch them, tell you what I think, how they perform, and whether they're worth it. So, let's get started. For a bit of background, uh, Trini London is obviously a UK brand. It came out from Trini Woodall, who was, I think, the first half of Trini and Sam when they had the fashion show. Um, and I love her. Both of them are amazing. They were so funny. I think I remembered seeing them quite a number of years ago, maybe like 10 or 15 years ago. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say the years. I remember seeing them when they were advising women on what to wear and what looks amazing on them and how to make clothes work for them. And I recently got back into Trini. Um, she's on Instagram. I'll put links down below if you haven't already seen her. But she does these amazingly short, really punchy advice about, you know, looking fabulous and feeling amazing, like really enjoying fashion, really enjoying beauty and just having fun. So that's why I'm really excited. And I've seen some of her products. Um, obviously, she does like a lot of all of the makeup she wears is from Trini London. So she does a lot of reviews and showing what the color looks like and what goes with what. And over Christmas, they actually release these special teapots. Um, and what they are are like dual pots for Christmas gifting. And I thought, I'll just might as well gift myself a little bit this year. Um, obviously, it has been really hard for everyone. I'm very, very fortunate to still be able to work and I can work from home. And um, with the kind of state of the world at the moment, I think there is no rhyme or reason why if you can indulge yourself a little bit and just find moments of happiness that should be the mantra for every year it's just find your moments of happiness so without further ado let's grab into this um with everything that i bought it did come with a free bag um i think this is one of their larger ones and it's really really spacious um does pack quite a lot in there it's in the trini london sort of um, lime, I want to say this is like a lime yellow with the silver um, and the sort of patterning on that. I think it's really really cute. So I'm going to open them up and there are so so many products in here I can't even. Let me just take them out for you. There is so much to unpack here I don't even know where to start. Um, I just start off with this sort of um, I just want to say this purple, purple, burgundy, red motif. Um, this is other shades and the um, pattern from their Christmas gifting. I've actually, because I got these from London when I was there for exams, um, I was trying to save space and unfortunately I had to recycle all of the boxes that the Christmas gifting came in. So they had really, really lovely kind of packaging and unfortunately I just had to recycle them because I couldn't fit everything back into my bag. So, um, but this is what it looks like. This is also one of the bags that came in one of the boxes. So she had various little bits and bobs that you can put together and have different um, collection of things that you can then give to people or keep for yourself. So, <laughs> what else? So this is what it looks like. Um, I've picked up so many different things as well. It's there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack. Um, I'm obviously not going to be able to try everything on, but this is going to be a sort of first impression. Um, here are some of the shade swatches against my skin tone. This is what I think about it from a first impression perspective, and then. If you're interested, um, I could come back with a much more in-depth review of the products or each of the individual products. So I've got a good mix of various bits and bobs um, for, I think, almost like a full face, if I'm not mistaken. So there are lots of little things in here that I'm going to have a lot of fun trying out. So, and then I'm going to, I'm going to show you. So let's start with what is in my hand. So this is basically the back ground or like the, the star 
of what Trini London is about is this kind of potted stacked makeup. Everything is portable, um, everything comes in these sort of little um, pots and you're meant to be able to just take this with you as you travel. <laughs> Who remembers traveling? Yeah, me too. Um, you're supposed to be able to take these with you and just have your makeup conveniently, you know, in one hand. Um, so I think that's really, really cool. I mean, obviously potted products are not new, but this sort of stacking system and they all just sort of latch on and click on like so so and it's just really easy and all of these come in this sort of i think this is almost like an acrylic plastic um with this trini silver she likes to call them trini silver um but sort of the silver um caps and they're just really easy to kind of take off um obviously you open your products like that and you use them so and a lot of the products are all cream based i want to say um and they're supposed to be easy to put on use your hands you're not supposed to be fussy with them and everything is meant to be easy the kind of no makeup makeup but also you can use a lot of the colors and she does have a lot of different shades a lot of different colors for all sorts of skin tones if you go on to the website there is a really fantastic um, match to me kind of system on there where you can look at all of her models and I think they're just people. <laughs> they're, I did not particularly uh, model models but just you know everyday people who she's used with all sorts of different skin tones, uh, different skin color, different skin type, different ages. So you can kind of go in there and see and try to kind of match yourself if you don't want to speak to one of the of her people um but you can kind of see and match yourself and also see what sort of products would go well with those skin you know those skin colors and with the combination of hair eyes skin color so it's a it's a whole system anyway you can also um obviously have a chat with their you know like her makeup artists and they can match you to different products as well for me, I did everything online, so I kind of looked at what my nearest shade might be, and then I basically just picked colours that I was drawn to. Um, a lot of them would be very warm toned, very bronzy, very gold, that's sort of the colours I tend to gravitate towards, so that's what I bought. But there's lots of bits and pieces, so. Um, honestly, gosh, where would I even start? I'm just opening them up to see what I have. And then we will have a plan of attack to see where we get started. I'm going to put the bags away. Right, let's start with the sort of skin base type products. Um, the first is what they call the Miracle Blur. And I've heard of Trini talk about this so many times. It's meant to be their, you know, really slipper, slipper, slipper hit. Um, product it's a little bit kind of pinky in the pan but what this is meant to do is sort of blur your lines and smooth out wrinkles and you know make your lips this can be used anywhere on your skin on your cheeks forehead anywhere that you want a little bit of smoothening out so um ooh, the texture is interesting it's sort of like a putty putty <laughs> cream i want to say um not actually sure how much product I'm supposed to use but I'm just gonna use over my lips because I tend to have like a very dry lips and they tend to cling on everything so um, I'm gonna use a little bit sort of here where I have very deep lines and sort of here when I have a lot of opening stone. There is a little bit of a scent to it. Um, it's not unpleasant. It's more of a, how do you describe it? It's almost spa-like when you go to a spa and it smells really nice. Mm. Um, yeah. I think this is definitely one of those products which um, would work, I mean you would see it work obviously with other products on your skin so at the moment it's just sort of, here it is. 
so that is the first um and then i bought a couple of i wouldn't say they're I'm not sure if you'll be counting them as foundation foundation, but they're sort of skin bases, I would say. Um, I've got the BFF Cream Skin Perfector, and this was in their Christmas packaging, um, so it looks like that. And I also got the more recent launch of the BFF Serum De-Stress. This is meant to be a tinted serum with skincare products in there. Um, so it does say it's a first of its kind skincare formula designed to instantly awaken tight looking skin. It's got a proven NPR, MP Triox technology to defend and protect the skin from digital HEV light, tightness, tension, pollution, etc, um, etc. Et I don't know um, if that has all that it claims to but it did sound interesting to me so I thought I'll pick one up. Um, I got this in the shade... I don't know. Oh, Mariam. In that. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, so cute. Um, I love that the inside of the packaging is yellow and obviously silver here. This is what it looks like. I think most of their um, non-potted products are in these kind of tube... Um, tube Thingies. Oh, and it does come with a pump, which is so convenient. And yeah, this is just looks very, very small, but I think this has 30 mils of product in there, so I think that's almost like other tinted moisturizer type products would have about as much. Um, tinted. Oh, I see. So. There is um, a little bit of a direction on the product itself. It does say you can wear it alone on top of your SPF or with just a touch, um, which is, I also have that, where is it? This is Just A Touch, which is their kind of foundation concealer type product. So, hmm. And uh, you build to your preferred coverage. So, and again, a lot of the products are all about using your fingertips. It's no fuss type dealio. Where is the other thing? Oh, yes. This is the, um, oh, there we go. This is the Skin Perfector, which is, again, one of their tried and tested. Looks like this, so it has the sort of more white packaging on there. I've got this in medium. And this is supposed to mimic your skin tone when worn alone to hydrate, boost radiance, wake up tight skin. Perfect for layering over or under just a touch foundation for added luminosity. It makes light work of dark circles. So, oof. I am not sure what to do actually. I think let's go let's go for the skin perfector because I actually want to see what this is. Um it's supposed to sort of mimic your skin tone or close enough to it and then we can put just a touch on top of that. Again, it comes with a pump. I will let you know how much each of the product costs um, in a little bit, but yeah, let's, um, let's, ooh, I don't know, do I just put it on the back of my hands, do I just put it on my fingertips, I don't know. It's quite, ooh. Oh, that's interesting okay that is interesting the product is this kind of almost gray whitish Ooh, that is bizarre I'm gonna do this wipe it all over my skin oh it smells very very sweet. I didn't really get much of it on the forehead so I'm gonna do a little bit of a pump. A ah. little bit of a pump just. That has definitely boosted kind of radiance. My skin looks really really I would say there's a good hint of highlight on there, but it doesn't look 
bad. It's like a good sort of inner inner radiance type situation happening. Um, I can't tell if there was any sort of tint in there, but my skin does look a little bit more evened out, I think. Um, but it's definitely not a full coverage anything. Um, I can see dark under eye circles. I can see a little bit of redness. Obviously all my spots are still there, but oh my god, look at, look at that radiance. That is amazing. Wow. That is so nice. Um, that's really nice. I like that. That is cool. But it's definitely not a sort of tinted moisturizer or skin based, um, situation happening on there. Let's try a little bit of the serum. I want to see what that looks like. Ooh, that is definitely skin tint of some sort. Um, that could be a good match to my skin actually. Let's do a few dot dot dots and see. That definitely has a little bit of coverage. I could see the color on my skin, um, not in a bad way. It did blend out really, really well. But it's gotten rid of that little bit of redness and yeah, and sort of evened everything out, so. Ooh, I think I really like that. I feel like I should probably put on a little bit more, but so far, so far, I've actually really like that. And then I have the Just a Touch in Santa. Looks a little bit like this. Let's see. Ooh, okay. That is a good texture. It's very, very emollient. I'm gonna try and see if I can cover little bit of there. I do believe they have other products for under the eyes. I've also seen they've just come out with an under eye or um, a BFF de-stress for the eyes. But that is still quite nice. I'm just using a very very light touch. So I'm not looking to cover everything, that's not my intention. But I think you can definitely build that up. I just want to see how the product feels and the sort of texture and how it works against the skin and that is. Definitely have bad on the eyes. Does it cover? has definitely covered up the redness. What do you think? I like it a lot. Mm. That is a very slightly more, I'm going to put a link down below to um, my Glossier review where it's almost like a very, very similar makeup style. Um, everything is about, you know, the product not just sitting on your skin. It's supposed to be unperfected makeup, no makeup, um, no makeup makeup. And I think this is like a slightly more upgraded version. Like, I can see this, I can be quite happy wearing this out um, every day to work um, and I'll be fine with this sort of coverage. I don't know, I put on that some of that Miracle Blur on here, but I don't know if that's actually done anything to smooth it out. Um, it might have a little bit. I think my skin looks incredible. 
right now even though I have a lot of spots and stuff happening I mean I might look back on the video when I'm editing this and decide I'm talking a bunch of rubbish but in the meantime there is a healthy glow um, I look not bad not bad at all so let me give you some of the prices because that is what we are all here for um, let's see okay so the Miracle Blur is £26. That is not cheap. It is touted as a lip and line filler. That's nice. And then the BFF Cream. Is that what you are? BFF Cream Skin Perfector. This does have SPF 30 in them. And this retails for £35. So £35 for that. Um, so yes, I think I'm supposed to have put on quite a lot more probably would not rely on this for just my SPF you probably need another SPF underneath that but it does have a little bit and this one is the BFF de-stress tinted serum this is £39 so it's a little bit more expensive but it does have a lot more color in it so it does have a lot of tint and there's quite a few shades on there um, as you as you go through so let's see what else we have to play with I forgot to mention that the Just A Touch concealer is retailing for £28. Um, £28 is quite quite pricey for a teeny tiny product, um, but it does have 4 grams, 4 grams of product in there. Um, they are meant to last you quite a while, but um, I think I would have to come back and see how long they actually do last if I were to use it on an everyday basis. I probably would not use them every day, but pricing for what it is. Um, I also have another sort of skin product on here. This is the Golden Glow in Sawala, which I think it's the deepest um, skin tone or colour that they actually use. So this is touted as a bronzer for £25. And this is what it looks like. Liquid dark in the pan, but actually it's meant to be quite sheer. Um, the way I've seen Trini use this is to basically just put her hands in and ooh, oh that is interesting. It is very very wet, um, almost like a gel texture, it's quite, it's quite interesting actually. Look at, it is so wet. I'm gonna go Give myself a little bit of a glow. There. So I'm sort of hitting points where I would usually put my bronzer. Bridge of the nose to show you've got a little bit of a sun. I think that's, it's so subtle, um, I'm gonna blend something on there, just look, it is very very subtle, um, I'm not sure if it's quite visible, but in person there's just, just a little bit of a golden glow, um, and the shade is not at all dark, I mean it looks a little bit scary on here, but it's actually very very blendable, gives you like a little hint of like a sun-kissed glow, I would say if you were um, in a deeper skin tone than I am, it will probably not work for you. I feel like it would just kind of blend away to nothing. Um, so I'll be interested to see if they come up with more shades. I know that they recently, they had a lighter one of this and then they just came up with a medium, so three and this is the darkest, but I feel like they can definitely do a lot more um, in terms of shades for the glow golden glow thing. Um, this does retail for, I did say, £25 for that, but actually really nice product to give you a little bit of a life in your face. Then we come on to the fun stuff. So um, all of these are the coloured products. So there are the um, eye to eye, which are obviously um, shades I think all cream products for the eyes and then 
I have a stack of just various different things on here um, for cheeks, for lips, different types of lip products I can in here as well. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a interesting way um, for me to actually identify what product is which, especially because several of them are from the Christmas collection and they're T-tones, which meant there are two products in one. And I don't think it actually says what they are specifically, but I think they're actually two different formulas um, that have been paired up together. So let's start with the eyes and then we'll move on to this. So a um, little three stack, but each of these has two colors in them. And they were basically the sort of colors that I wanted anyway from their normal collection. But these ones come with a really pretty, pretty, pretty pattern on the top in the sort of purple. And when you open them up, they look like that. So they have um, two different shades and of the kind of more popular shades. Um, this one is Virtue and Fortune. I believe that is Virtue and that is Fortune. And I will just swatch these for you. They're quite difficult to get my fingers in. One of the things that I was a bit wary of when they arrived was how small the pots actually are. But that is Virtue, very, very pretty sort of peachy highlight shade. And that one is Fortune. I think I've forgotten how to swatch that. Oh, that is so nice. It is a kind of, I would say like a bronzy, almost rose gold kind of bronze. That is so pretty. Oof. Ooh, so nice. Um, but yeah, my fingers barely fit in there. So there, obviously, the normal pots are the same size without the little partition in there. Um, but each of the pots carry about four grams of product. So that's how much you're getting. And it's, yeah, it's just a little bit sort of fiddly to get your hands, fingers in there. Wisdom and desire. That's what it looks like. I believe that is Wisdom, which I've heard them describe, um, Trini especially describe it as one of their unexpectedly beautiful shades that works for everyone. Um, it's kind of meant to be this taupey brown color um, that works like a shadow, works like an eyeshadow, um, all bits and pieces. Next to it is Desire. So get my finger in there. The texture is lovely. I have to say the texture is beautiful. That is wisdom, which is quite dark to see. Focus. Look at that. That is stunning taupe. And then the other one. Ooh, that is quite dark. And again, that is that almost purple, purpley brown, I want to say. That is lovely. Oof. The textures is interesting. Um, the texture is really interesting. It's sort of almost cream gel like and very, very smooth. They blend out really nicely on the back of my hands. I'll be interested to see how they actually look on the eyes. One of my problems is I have quite oily lids, so I'll be a little bit afraid that they'll just get really oily and slide off. Next one is Victory and Empress, and I was really excited about this. Um, I believe should be which one is where? It's not very clear. I think that's Victory, which is meant to be like a golden shimmer, and Empress, which is the slightly darker. Let's get that on there. Oh yes, look at the beautiful sort of golden. Oh. Lovely. Oof. Oof. That is. Oh yes. <laughs> I suppose when you look at all of them together, they probably look very, very similar. Um, because these are kind of the tones I go for. It's golden, bronzy, browny shades. Um, they do have so much more. There's so many colors. So many different choices on the website i think it was actually really really hard to narrow down um the kind of lightly shades that i would wear 
every day and like to to play around with so now I'm just playing I think I'm gonna go desire all over the eyes and again I'm just gonna use my fingers I'm gonna concentrate that sort of towards the end and then all over the lid holy crap okay that is beautiful I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera but that is really really lovely it was that the color I chose no <laughs> let me pick something else out um, so this is desire and I'm basically just I'm just patting and spreading it out and I'm concentrating it on the outer edge but bringing it all over the lid and it's all I'm doing I'm just creating a bit of a winged out very very natural and that's usually how I would do my makeup and this is perfect that is so lovely that's so lovely um, I want to do a little bit of a golden moment in the center I'm just bringing that into the inner eye as well. This is definitely a very, very slippy emollient type product. Um, I can already feel it's very, very slippy on the eyes. Um, and again, I tend to have a little bit more of an oily lid. I think if you had drier lids um, or you are oh, slightly... I am getting older, I'm kind of getting like the wrinkle around the eyes and everything, but that looked really nice. It really sort of blended it into the skin. There's no catching on anything. So that's super, super lovely. It feels nice, like really nice to work with. Oh, that is super lovely. I can just see they blend it together really nicely as well. I would be interested to know if they would, again, like sort of slide right off my skin. Um, or become patchy, you know, when products uh, start breaking down with the oil and they, they kind of cling to various bits of um, skin. I'll be interested to know if that actually happens. But in the meantime, that is super nice. On to the lip and cheek shades. Um, the eye to eye retails for £18. I believe the teapots, so the ones for the Christmas gifting that had two in one, uh, was a little bit more expensive. I think it was... 20 pounds i want to say it was a little bit more expensive um but really nice okay now we're moving on to the lip and cheeks products and there are quite a few different things as i've mentioned for example there is um a lip lux which <sighs> i'm gonna go through i'm gonna go through all of them um the lip lux is retailing for 22 pounds i think they're meant to be um kind of slightly glossy i want to say luxurious looking lip colors oh dear um i also have a lip to cheek which is retailing for 25 pounds to lip to cheek this is in the shade munchkin which is so lovely i've seen this on other people it looks incredible it looks so nice. and then i have the kind of three um Christmas editions again these are in the teapots um, they're two in like two products in one um, and they have the kind of orange like the pink with the darker red motif on the lids which are really really lovely um, these ones I think again they are kind of a mix of a lip locks and possibly the lip shears I want to say so let me go through the website so there is sheer shimmer lip to cheek which I think are a little bit more sheer than the normal lip to cheek there is the lip glows which are very very kind of shiny glowy ones um there's lip love which is metallic and again all of these are anywhere between 22 to 25 um i was thinking mostly 22 yep 22 to 25 pounds um for each of those so i'm gonna start with the christmas stuff first because why not <laughs> like which color do i go for this is Freddie and Maddie. Oh, 
they smell like candy. I don't know what sort of candy though. Something really lovely. Um, like peel back and show you. So I think I really want to say this is Freddie and this is Maddie, but I might be wrong. I'm less familiar with their lip shades than I am with the eye stuff. So let's just oh. This is very, very sheer. I'm not even sure. Yep, that's just like a lip shine on there. And then the other one is really, really lovely, sort of this reddish. Do a little bit more plummy reddish color on there. So really nice. Put that aside and try to see and swatch the other ones. Um, then you have Phoebe and Cordy, and again that's really lovely, let's go. Again that's another very very sheer pink, Oof, that is bright raspberry. It kind of smell like candy, this is what they look like in the pot, very very bright colours for Christmas, which is not surprising. This is Lady J and Talis. I feel like this is Lady J maybe and this is Talis. I could be completely wrong. Um, the red is very, very sheer. I don't think that even pops up. It's super, super sheer and glossy. And then the other one Ooh, it's a very plummy neutral. Where can I put this? Super pink plummy sort of neutral. So those are all of the Christmas shades. I'm not going to say, I say in Christmas shades, but they're actually part of their normal collection. It's just it came out as part of the Christmas collection. Um, but these are all of them. That is really lovely. I like that one. And then I have um, the Lip to Cheek, which is in the shade Suze. Um, I saw this and it looked really, really nice. And it's just this beautiful kind of purpley plum color. And it's just like, look at how beautiful that is. So you can obviously use that um, on your lips, on your cheeks. It is stunning, I think, on the cheeks. I wished I've had a few more lip to cheek colours. Oh, actually no, what is that? That is a lip lux. I am so sorry. That is Suze is a lip lux. Um, I think you can actually use that on the cheeks as well. Like a lot of their products are all multi-purpose. You're not supposed to use the lip products on the eyes, but I know Trini does it a lot just to bring all the colours in. Um, and it's just really, really lovely. So definitely um and then i have munchkin which is actually the lip to cheek and this is what it looks like it is so dark in the pan but i think it is stunning like this sort of oh look at that it is beautiful kind of raspberry i'm gonna try um let's go for plummy shades i'm gonna go for i think it's maddie i again i might be completely wrong make a mess of everything. Really subtle, um, a little bit of a hint of colour but nothing, nothing too bright on it. I'm going to use a little bit of the other shade, that one. Just to bring a bit of shine. And hydration. Super pretty, oof. Sue's Lip Lux. I wanna actually use this on the cheeks and see what that is like. So let's do both. Let's do the lips. And again, with many of these, you can actually layer them on on other products and make your own Oh, super pretty.
that is Suze. I really like that actually. It goes so well with this shirt, oh, with this blouse. I love it. It's very, very, again, you just have that natural shine. I didn't actually get any of the highlighters um, because again, you just have that very natural gleam coming out from their products because a lot of it is really creamy, really emollient, and they're all meant to bring in, you know, sort of shine on that. Oh, that's so, so nice. Okay. I'm gonna clean my hands and come back and sort of give you my my overall first impressions. I'll be right back. I haven't tried um, is the tea pen. This is the brush. <laughs> this is like a little brush kit, which is so adorable. It's magnetic and yeah, it comes with um, a lip liner, a eyeshader, and something to um, if you want to do a liner it just fits into the bags like that and there was also a little uh tea i think they call it the tea something don't quite remember this is just a little mirror um which you can use to like look and do kind of your makeup on the go um or see bits and pieces that need to be fixed so that is uh there is so much stuff on here. I'm just gonna put those away. So, quite a few things. Um, overall impression is they are beautiful. Overall impression is these are super, super nice. Um, I really like Trini and I love her kind of motivation and the, the mantras that she's sort of putting out there, the energy that she's putting out there, which is to love what you're doing, um, have a little bit of fun and just enjoy makeup like enjoy fashion enjoy makeup it shouldn't be difficult it shouldn't be this doesn't match this or this is too difficult or you know anything connected to that it should just be fun so i love the fact that this is just fun um the makeup is i feel like the products themselves feel really nice like these are obviously very quality products um and they're lovely the shades are lovely i thoroughly regret not getting more could someone actually regret that i've got so much but i think i'm actually regretting not trying out other shades and getting other colors so this might be a slight obsession for me but i do have to say for what it is it is very 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 pricey it is these are not cheap they are on average anywhere between 18 to 25 to I think the um, the skin products are like almost 39 pounds if I'm not mistaken um, and they're really really pricey for about four grams of product so they are meant to last you for a while even if you're using them every single day but I think I struggle to see how that actually works um, and some of the I definitely am um, you know really getting in there trying to get color out using quite a lot of products so I think I need to actually play around with them and see how much I'm using if I'm using them quite consistently so that's one um, the other thing is this system this kind of it does click on really easily but what it also does is it turns very very easily and I have found the couple of times when I'm looking at them is that they dislodge the actual caps fairly easily just being in the bag so what it does is just it turns quite easily and it opens so i would be a bit wary about taking this um just in my makeup bag like if i just had this rolling around my handbag they would open up and obviously even though it's not a liquid product um, it could still stick to things. It's obviously a cream product. If you know it mixes with your your stuff in there, it's not ideal. So I think you have to be a little bit careful about how you store them and how you bring them with you. Um, which is why something like this is really great. It just fits right in there. Let's see if I can fit. Oh no. The other one I think fits in there. So this is about one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about six pots in there. Yes, it does. So for that little thing fits six pots and I think you can definitely do a full face 
you can have um, like just a touch concealer you can have um, a eye shade a lip shade and maybe like something like the miracle blur um, you know anything like that so that's actually quite nice and yeah overall I think it is it is sort of the kind of little tiny little bit of luxury um, to bring into your makeup routine it's obviously it's not going to be Dolce & Gabbana it's not going to be Gucci makeup but I think it's really really fun and it's really nice good products they actually work really well I love the way it looks on my face I love the way they feel um, and the textures are really really nice so that is Trini London I hope I haven't just gone on way too much. Um, if you have enjoyed the review, please let me know in the comments below. Have you tried Trini London? All the things that you like? Is there any shades you would recommend that I try them next time? And if you like this video, obviously, um, please do click the thumbs up sign and click the subscribe button down below if you want to see more. And I will see you next time. Bye!